Hello, sewing friends. Welcome. I'm Alice Murray, and this is my channel, Mermaid Designs, where I'm showing you 365 days of sewing makes. I think this might be day 135. I'm getting confused because I'm also doing seven days of a capsule wardrobe, and this is day four. I am going to show you the fourth garment in our capsule wardrobe. We saw the pink draped neck, v-neck, roll neck, three-quarter length sleeve t-shirt. We saw this lovely turtleneck. We saw the uh, taupe uh, bell-bottom pants. And today I'm going to show you a corduroy skirt, kind of a khaki color. This is very beautiful uh, corduroy. It feels a lot like velvet. It's very fine corduroy. And this is the kind of skirt that you could wear casually. You could wear it to work if you worked in an office-y kind of place. It goes very nice with this um, hunter green turtleneck. You could spice this outfit up with a scarf, with a belt. The um, pattern I used was McCall's 7316. These are a whole bunch of cute little skirts. Um, I did this one, if you can see it, with the buttons. This is a I would say this is from the um, the 90s, the late 90s. Uh, let's see, Princess Seam Flared Skirt, A-Line, Suggested Fabrics, Gabardine, Lightweight Wool Crepe, Lightweight Wool and Wool Blends, Flannel, Velvet, Chalice, Denim, Georgette, Cotton, Cotton Blends, well, corduroy is a cotton, so. So that works. So it's um, kind of one wide piece and I put buttonholes and buttons all the way down the side. It uh, kind of totally undoes. And uh, I liked having the buttons down the side. I thought that uh, gives it an interesting look. Um, I made a mistake, who'd have guessed? Uh, I forgot to put interfacing in the um, waistband. So the waistband is not as tough as a guy would like it to be. Uh, darts in the back. So a very simple make. If you're making seven things, you want, uh, you know, you might want them to be kind of simple so you can uh, make them quickly. Uh, this says that it is a two hour dress or two hour skirt. And I think that was entirely correct. That really the trickiest thing was the um, buttonholes, but my Janome makes buttonholes like nobody's business, so that wasn't a problem. So yeah, day four. This is our second uh, bottom. We have, oopsie. I needed that. 
we have uh, two toppers, three tops, and two bottoms. Just let me retrieve what I dropped. And if you don't have from the 90s, this McCall's 7316, and you have nothing in your pattern stash that you could make this type of skirt from, um, I looked online to see what other options you might have, and I found this. The model doesn't look too happy about it, but I think it's a fine skirt. It is from uh, Peppermint Magazine, and it's a wrap skirt. Uh, it's from issue 14 of Peppermint Magazine. Peppermint Magazine is an Australian quarterly uh, magazine about uh, sustainability, um, environmental things, and sewing is a very environmentally friendly thing to do. And so it has this skirt, and it's free, and it's downloadable, so you can have this today. And I thought, you know, you could make it a wrap skirt and instead of the ties, you could put buttons in it if you want it. And then I just looked through my own stash to see what else I had that was maybe a little more recent. And I, I don't have a lot of skirt patterns. I have a new look 6642. This is not a wrap skirt. This is not one you would fold over and button at all, but I think it is um, a good winter skirt. It's kind of a heavy duty skirt. So I think that new look 6642, which is a 2019, yes, it is a 2019 release. I do like that they put the, the year on patterns sometimes. They don't always do it, but uh, they do put them on sometimes. And, uh, you know, that kind of gives you an idea. Um, it's suggested fabrics are brocade, cotton types, crepe, crepe, back satin, lightweight denim, linen, sateen, taffeta. Well, it would be lovely in taffeta, wouldn't it? Velveteen. Um, so, yeah, it would probably work just fine in corduroy because... Corduroy is a cotton fabric. So yeah, that is day four. That is three options for you for a uh, pattern. And um, yes, I hope you have gotten out your patterns and seen what you have and see what you could get. And um, I hope that some of these suggestions work for you and that you are thinking up your own capsule wardrobe. So that is day four. Stay tuned for day five. What could it be? We'll see you tomorrow. And I hope that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun.